four years, the Mac Mini has been one of Apple's most beloved yet underestimated machines. Compact, quiet, and surprisingly powerful, it has long been the entry point for many people into the Mac OS ecosystem. Now, with Apple Silicon dominating the computing landscape, the Mac Mini has transformed into a small yet mighty workstation capable of tackling demanding creative workflows, software development, and even high-end gaming. But the year 2025 promises something even more exciting. Apple is preparing to launch the M5 Mac Mini, a device that is expected to set new benchmarks for desktop performance while retaining its iconic minimalist form factor. Welcome to my channel Tech Launch. Subscribe my channel and click on the bell icon for the new tech updates. This new iteration doesn't just represent another yearly refresh, it marks the next major leap in Apple's ambitious roadmap for Apple Silicon. Oh what can we expect from the Apple M5 Mac Mini? Let's dive deep into its design, performance, features, ecosystem, and why it could be one of the most important computers of the decade. The Mac Mini has been around since 2005, when Steve Jobs introduced it as the BYODKM computer. Bring your own display, keyboard, and mouse. At the time, it was positioned as an affordable way for PC users to switch to the Mac ecosystem. Fast forward to today, the Mac Mini is no longer just an entry-level machine. With the introduction of the M1 in 2020, it became a shockingly capable desktop for its size. The M2 and M2 Pro versions expanded its power, and the M4 Mac Mini, expected in late 2024, will likely bring AI-accelerated performance and enhanced graphics. The M5 generation, however, is where Apple will redefine the category. The M5 Mac Mini is rumored to bring massive improvements in performance per watt, AI processing, and graphics capability, making it a workstation-class computer in a chassis that can sit in the palm of your hand. One of the reasons the Mac Mini remains iconic is its simple, elegant design. The question is, will Apple finally redesign it in 2025? While the overall look has remained nearly unchanged since 2010, the M5 Mac Mini could bring subtle refinements. Expect an even slimmer profile, possibly adopting the same design language as the M5 MacBook Pro and M5 iMac, rounded edges, a flatter top surface, and maybe even new color options. Apple might offer finishes that match its other hardware, such as Midnight or Space Black. Ports are another area of speculation. The M5 Mac Mini will likely include four Thunderbolt 5 ports, faster transfer speeds and better external display support, two USB-A ports for legacy devices, an upgraded HDMI 2.2 or even HDMI 2.3 supporting 8K output. A 3.5mm headphone jack with improved high impedance headphone support. 10 gigabit Ethernet as an optional upgrade. Apple could also make the Mac Mini fanless if the M5 proves efficient enough, but given its high performance, it's more likely we'll see a whisper quiet active cooling system similar to the current model. The heart of the new Mac Mini will, of course, be the Apple M5 chip. By 2025, Apple's chip design will be years ahead of most competitors in terms of efficiency and AI integration. Key expectations include 3nm plus or 2 nanometers process technology from TSMC, bringing huge power efficiency gains. A new CPU architecture with up to 16 performance cores and 8 efficiency cores. GPU improvements with ray tracing, mesh shading, and hardware accelerated global illumination for pro apps and gaming. Neural Engine 3.0 or higher, optimized for AI and machine learning tasks, potentially running trillions of operations per second. Support for unified memory up to 64 gigabytes or even 128 gigabytes, making it a true workstation class machine. The M5 Mac Mini could even introduce multi-chip module, MCM, designs, allowing Apple to stack multiple dies for even more performance without dramatically increasing size. When Apple transitions to new silicon generations, Performance gains are often astonishing. With the M1, we saw up to 3x performance compared to Intel. With the M3, Apple delivered huge boosts in graphics and AI performance. CPU performance increases of 30 to 40% compared to the M4. GPU performance increases by 50%, bringing console-level gaming to the Mac Mini. AI processing that rivals dedicated accelerators like NVIDIA Tensor Cores. Native support for real-time 8K video editing in Final Cut Pro without proxies. This means professionals who previously relied on the Mac Studio or Mac Pro might find the Mac Mini powerful enough for their workflows. 
One of the biggest themes in 2025 computing will be AI integration. Apple has already teased its plans with on-device intelligence, and the M5 Mac Mini is likely to play a central role. The new neural engine will allow real-time AI-assisted tasks such as automatic video editing with smart scene detection, AI-powered code completion and debugging for developers, real-time transcription, translation, and voice synthesis, enhanced creative workflows like AI-assisted photo editing in Pixelmator Pro or Adobe Photoshop. Unlike cloud-based AI, the M5 Mac Mini will perform these tasks entirely on device, ensuring speed, privacy, and offline functionality. For years, gaming on the Mac has been dismissed as a niche. But Apple is working hard to change that. With Metal 4, ray tracing support, and better developer tools, the Mac Mini M5 could finally become a legitimate gaming machine. Expect native support for major AAA titles and Apple Arcade exclusives that fully utilize the M5 GPU. Combined with external display support up to 8K 120Hz, the Mac Mini could rival traditional gaming PCs in both visuals and efficiency. If Apple partners with developers and continues improving its game porting toolkit, the M5 Mac Mini could become the first Mac that gamers seriously consider. Networking will also see upgrades. Expect Wi-Fi 7 for ultra-fast, low-latency wireless connections. Bluetooth 6.0 for better audio quality and multi-device pairing. Optional 10G Ethernet for professionals. The Mac Mini could also improve external GPU support, though Apple may avoid this to push its own silicon. But what is more likely is expanded support for multiple monitors, possibly up to 4 6K displays or 2 8K displays simultaneously. The M5 Mac Mini will ship with macOS 16 or macOS 17, depending on Apple's naming schedule. This version of macOS is expected to feature deeper AI integration, optimized resource management, and better support for professional apps. Expect tighter integration with iPhone and iPad, allowing seamless workflow continuity. For example, editing a video on iPhone 17 Pro could instantly transfer to the Mac Mini for final finishing, with no rendering delays. One of the biggest questions is how the M5 Mac Mini will fit alongside the Mac Studio and Mac Pro. The answer is simple. It will blur the lines. If the M5 delivers workstation class performance, many users will no longer need the Studio or Pro. Instead, they'll get 80 to 90% of the performance at half the price. Apple may differentiate by keeping higher RAM and storage ceilings exclusive to Studio slash Pro models. Professionals who need a powerful desktop but don't want to spend thousands on a Mac Studio. Developers who require strong CPU slash AI performance for compiling code and testing software. Video editors and creators who want reliable 8K editing in a small footprint. Gamers who want to explore macOS gaming with cutting-edge graphics.